for, for some people, it's just really, really hard to put that aside because they've built their life on this pride. My pride is, is me. My yeah. pride is everything. And I'm going to go to the grave for that pride. And unfortunately, 20 years later, 30 years later, if they ever recognize it, they realize that it was a mistake. But the problem is, is people generally only find out at the end. They find out when it's too late to change, or they find out when it's yeah. too hard to, to adjust. Yeah, you need to you need to like what you said, like like get let go of that pride. So you need to understand. Like, it's up to the the student themselves. But at the end of the day, you can't. Do you think that's something you had naturally going into it though, or is it something that you developed while doing jujitsu? Like I'd say at the start, like what I said when when he would give me advice, and I'd almost be like, oh, you know, he thinks I suck, this yeah. and that, and you, you can go into this like negative spiral I don't know I think I, yeah as I as I progress you just sort of begin to understand that you don't really know that much and you can either just keep doing the same things that you're doing and hope for the results or you can listen to what the more experienced coaches say than, to you and, mm. and take that on board and, and try to address it and um, I o- honestly think it is like the, the biggest thing that holds people's development back is, is the, like, the ego or, or the pride is for sure it's because they think you know they they can't they can't accept the fact that they're going to lose in training. It's you have to you just have to understand that nobody cares mm. and just let it go. And, and the, the goal is to get better. 